The inner Niger Delta in Mali is a wetland that consists of many lakes and floodplains. One million people live in this area and 20% of Mali's inhabitants depend on the water from this delta. The Niger River and its wetlands are a water resource for livestock farming, fisheries, rice production and transport. In this dry area of the western Sahel, the water of the Niger River system is a lifeline. In recent years, there is less water coming from the Niger River to the Delta. There are several causes, like deforestation, hydropower dams and irrigation schemes upstream. Climate change is expected to increasingly worsen this water shortage. The combination of climate change with the other factors that reduce the water flows is likely to be too much for the Delta and its people. Mali is a dry country. For the food sufficiency of its population, it need to build dams. Dam irrigate area where Mali produce about 60% of his rice production. Dam also has uh, disadvantages. Does mean less water for people living downstream. Less fish, less food, less cattle uh, feed, and water birds become more vulnerable because of they are exposed to hunting. Climate change will make the situation worse. Since the great drought in Mali, the rainfall is dropping. It is expected during the coming 100 years, rainfall will drop about 20%. Where we are now, the temperature is about 40 degrees Celsius. And uh, that temper this temperature is expected to raise during the coming 80 years from 2 to 7 degrees Celsius. Jamfumit in the Mago. Jamfumit in the Mago means that I am the Sud Amdu. Jamfumit in the Mago. The Inner Niger Delta is also a hotspot for millions of migrating waterfowl and a final destination for migrating birds that left Europe in the autumn and have crossed the Sahara Desert. With more than 4 million hectares, it is the last remaining wetland of this size in the Sahelian zone. Konunu, di kumudola, malo kumisanala, jago kumudala katawolo, obe na fabare moni kela umu, obe banas, pasi akasira obe gire na kanunu gire na jitu daratu. Mi ensi nega ladi, mi malo disi, sangu sangu mi malo sin, mi mi soro malo sin na, sangu nana, wewe borotani. Ne borotani, ane kadema ya ati ambalo, fa ambitila kanga fiondo ude fere, katika kata wosa kasa ni sumaye ka ambalo. Wetlands International works in the Delta to adapt to times with less water due to climate change. One set of activities is to prevent additional water losses. The organization has investigated with partners the impact of current and planned dams on the water flows to the Delta. With these outcomes, Wetlands International advises the government of Mali, global donors and other countries along the river. Another set of activities is to manage the Delta well and to adapt to a time with less water. Wetlands International works with local communities to restore floodplain forests that are crucial breeding grounds for fish and prevent erosion. People also get microcredits to develop home gardens to be less dependent on fisheries in the shrinking delta. Mali cannot 
prevent climate change. This problem is caused by wealthy countries. This country should support Mali to restore fresh water wetlands and fight climate change. Money to the Kabara, we're not coming.